dead members from the Isley Brothers. The Isley Brothers, also known as the Isleys, are a legendary American R&B and soul group that started in Cincinnati, Ohio, in the late 1950s. The group was founded by four brothers, O'Kelly Isley Jr., Rudolph Isley, Ronald Isley, and Vernon Isley. Over the years, the group has had several members come and go, and some have passed away. In this video, we will be discussing some of the dead members from the Isley brothers and their impact on the group. Vernon Isley Vernon Isley was born on April 13, 1942, in Cincinnati, Ohio. He was a founding member of the group, but unfortunately, his time with the band was cut short due to his untimely death. Vernon passed away on August 7, 1955, at the young age of 13, from a car accident. His death was a huge loss for the family and the band, and it was a tough time for everyone. O'Kelly Isley Jr. O'Kelly Isley Jr. was a founding member of the Isley Brothers and the oldest of the Isley Brothers. Born on December 25, 1937, in Cincinnati, Ohio, O'Kelly was a tenor vocalist and played the guitar for the group. Alongside his brothers Rudolph and Ronald, O'Kelly formed the Isley Brothers and released their debut single, Angels Cried, in 1954. However, their breakthrough came with the release of the hit single, Shout, in 1959, which propelled the group to fame. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, O'Kelly and his brothers produced several hit songs, including Twist and Shout, This Old Heart of Mine, It's Your Thing, and That Lady. O'Kelly was known for his smooth vocals, which provided a contrast to his younger brother Ronald's more raucous style. O'Kelly was also a skilled songwriter and wrote several of the group's hits, including Who's That Lady and Summer Breeze. Despite his success in the music industry, O'Kelly suffered from health problems later in life. He was diagnosed with cancer and underwent treatment but succumbed to the disease on March 31, 1986. O'Kelly was 48 years old at the time of his death. His passing was a significant loss for the Isley Brothers and the music industry as a whole. O'Kelly's contributions to the group's success and legacy cannot be overstated. Marvin Isley Marvin Isley was the youngest of the Isley Brothers and played bass guitar for the group. Born on August 18, 1953, in Cincinnati, Ohio, Marvin joined the group in 1973, replacing their former bassist, Chris Jasper. Marvin's addition to the group coincided with their transition to funk music, which he played a significant role in. Alongside his older brother Ernie, Marvin helped create the iconic Isley Brothers sound, which blended funk, soul, and rock elements. Marvin's time with the Isley Brothers was marked by several hit songs, including Fight the Power, Harvest for the World, and Between the Sheets. His bass lines were a vital component of the group's funk sound and helped establish the Isley Brothers as one of the premier funk bands of the 1970s and 1980s. However, Marvin's career was cut short due to health problems. He was diagnosed with diabetes in the 1990s and had to have both legs amputated. Marvin's health continued to decline, and he passed away on June 6, 2010, at the age of 56. His death was a significant loss for the Isley Brothers and the music industry as a whole. Marvin's contributions to the group's success and legacy cannot be overstated. Ronald Isley Ronald Isley is still surviving member of the original group. He was born on May 21, 1941, in Cincinnati, Ohio. Ronald is the lead vocalist of the Isley Brothers and is known for his soulful voice and charismatic stage presence. Ronald's contributions to the Isley Brothers' music are immeasurable. He has sung lead on some of the group's biggest hits, including Shout, Twist and Shout, This Old Heart of Mine, Is Weak For You, and That Lady. Ronald has also written many of the group's songs, including It's Your Thing, which won a Grammy Award in 1969. In addition to his work with the Isley Brothers, Ronald has also had a successful solo career. He has released several albums, including his 2003 album, Here I Am, Bacharach Meets Isley, which won a Grammy Award for Best R&B Album. Ernie Isley Ernie Isley is the only surviving member of the original Isley Brothers lineup. He was born on March 7, 1952, in Cincinnati, Ohio, and is now 69 years old. Ernie joined the band in 1969, when he was just 16 years old, and played guitar for the group. Ernie's guitar playing was a crucial part of the Isley Brothers sound, and he was known for his blistering solos and innovative use of effects pedals. He played on many of the band's biggest hits, including That Lady and Harvest for the World. Ernie also wrote some of the band's songs, including Between the Sheets. 
After the deaths of his brothers O'Kelly and Marvin, Ernie continued to perform and record with the Isley brothers. He also collaborated with other artists, including Carlos Santana and Jimi Hendrix. Ernie is still active in the music industry today and remains one of the most respected guitarists in the business. Rudolf Isley Rudolf Isley is was born on April 1, 1939, in Cincinnati, Ohio. Rudolf is a singer and songwriter who is best known for his work with the Isley Brothers. He is also a talented guitarist and has played on many of the group's recordings. Rudolf's contributions to the Isley Brothers' music are significant. He has co-written many of the group's songs, including It's Your Thing, Who's That Lady, and Fight the Power. Rudolph has also sung lead on some of the group's songs, including That Lady and For the Love of You. Despite his contributions to the Isley Brothers' music, Rudolph has always preferred to stay out of the spotlight. He has rarely given interviews and has shied away from the public eye. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. See you on the next video.